This project is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is one of the most experienced PCB manufacturing company in China in field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They provide completed PCB assembly service with worldwide free shipping and ISO 9001 quality control system. Also, on their site there is an online Gerber viewer where you can upload your Gerber and drill files to render your board. So, if you want to make a PCB for your electronic project, PCBWay is a great choice for you. Visit their website and www.pcbway.com for more services. Hello, this time I will explain two of the simplest ways to make 12 volts to 220 volts inverter, uh, one with transistors and other with MOSFETs. Most often these type of inverters are made from parts of old PC power supplies. In fact, my goal was to make such inverters and to test their functionality and real properties because in the videos where I watched them before, without exception, they were attributed almost impossible characteristics. At the end of the video you can follow the detailed way of making these inverters through many pictures. And now let's focus on the main purpose of this video to test the real capabilities of these devices. First we will test the converter made with the 13007 transistors. For the consumer I used a LED lamp with a power of 8 watts. Input consumption is, a, is just over 4 watts, 4.25 watts. Uh, we can trace the shape of the output signal before the output rectifier on the oscilloscope. In this case the DC output voltage is about 450 volts and the current is about 8 milliamperes. These are approximately the limit possibilities of this type of converter. With a small increase in power of the consumer, the output voltage drops sharply. This is a 10 watt LED lamp. Now the power consumption is about 10 watts. The output voltage is 81 volts. When I connect an iscandescent lamp, Power consumption is about 6.5 watts and the output voltage is only 1.7 volts. And now the inverter made with MOSFETs. First, let's measure the output voltage without a con consumer. As we see, the voltage is 248 volts DC and the current consumption is about 0.9 amperes. Now let's test the device with consumer which is a 10 watts LED lamp. It is immediately obvious that the lamp shines at full intensity unlike the previous time when, the tested, when we tested a device with transistors.
the output voltage is now more than 200 volts and the total consumption is about 1.6 amps or 18 watts. Uh, the MOSFETs are cold even after long, long term work. It is more than obvious that this inverter has much better futures than the previous one, but it is still not good enough for any serious, serious use. MOSFETs are totally cold. Based on the previous test follows a short conclusion. A common positive future of both devices is that they use a minimal number of components, they are extremely simple to build, require no setup and almost always work immediately after assembly. But there are more negative sides. Uh, consumption at idle, that is no load, in both cases is very high. Next, the output signal in these simplest versions is rectangular and high frequency and is not compatible with customers who are dependent on these components. And, uh, claims that these inverters can provide 100 watt of power with just two transistors or MOSFETs and, and more than 3000 watt with 12 or more transistor or, mo or MOSFETs are fantasy. With 12 volts input, According to Ohm's law, in order to get 3000 watts at the output, we need 250 amperes of current and all this in case the efficiency of the circuit is 100%, which means there are no loses or heating. The first device with 14007 transistor has almost no use value except for a uh, ex uh, except for a simple presentation or, hard, or, or how switching device of how switching device devices work. At a load of only a few milliamps, the output voltage drops drastically, so that only a LED lamp of a maximum three to five watts can be powered. The second in, uh, inverter that, that is this inverter made with MOSFETs is a bit more complicated and generally represent a ZVS driver circuit with several omitted components since the supply, vo supply voltage is limited to 12 volts. At the output at voltage greater than 200 volts it can deliver a solid 10 to 15 watts uh, that is about 50 to 70 milliamps constantly and in this case the total consumption of the circuit is about 18 watts. After rectifying and filtering the output stage, this source is quite sufficient to supply the anode voltage for the small EL84 tube amplifier. In fact, in fact, this was the main reason I started making these inverters because I need a high voltage source for this purpose. However, if you need such an inverter, it is best to make one with an integrated circuit that is made specifically for, for this purpose be, because in that case the output voltage is stable often with a sinusoidal shape and the efficiency is very high and after all the price of such inverters which are very compact by the way with an output power of about 50 watts is lower than five dollars so expect except for educational purposes or for a pleasure, it is unprofitable to make such devices ourselves.
The most difficult part in making the inverters is to find out the correct terminals of the switching transformer. Here are some tips on how to do that. Uh, one side of the transformer always has only two active terminals and in our case it is always the secondary winding on which the high voltage is in inducted. Uh, on the primary other side there are more active layouts. There is usually one thicker, longer wire which always represents a middle layout. We can determine the other two terminals experimentally and these are usually either the two middle terminals or the two terminals at one end. These two terminals or these two terminals.